Hi, so I am in my bedroom and I wanted to show you my bedroom tree. Um, but first of all, so this is my bed. Um, this is uh, Christmas bedding that I got at my Fred Meyer, which is Kroger brand. I get a king size bed. This is a queen size mattress, but I get the king size bed spreads because that uh, helps it hang over a little bit longer on the sides. Of course, I have my two cot beds here. This uh, king size comforter came with king size pillow shams, but I don't have king size pillows. They're quite a bit larger than normal, so I just put them under the cat beds, and then this is just a little throw blanket. One of the things I wanted to show you that I like doing, so I just changed my sheets to this pattern. These are flannel sheets. I think I also bought these at my Fred Meyer. But I like to spray my room and my bed with this Caldrea Tangelo Palm Frond. Uh, it's a very good, uh, it's like a light, almost orange scent. It smells very nice. And Caldrea brand does a very good job of lasting for a long time. It's like a high quality spray. There I am in the mirror, hello. Still in my pajamas. Um, I get mine from Glo Grove Collaborative and I will link it down below. Grove Collaborative has, I'll explain that later. Okay, so here's the tree. And right before this, you should have seen a photo of the tree lit up at night. So that photo was taken while I was in my bed. This is a seven foot pencil tree. I just got it at Michael's a couple years ago, but I got another one downstairs this year. So I know they still sell them. So I don't have a tree topper on it yet. Uh, I'm still looking for the right one. And the theme for this tree is mostly red, white, and gray or silver. So I'll just, so these are, and most of the ornaments I have are from probably Pier One, Target maybe. This is a little knit, uh, knit. It's like a styrofoam ball with knit around it. This is actually, You'll see several of those throughout the tree. Those are actually place card holders. You're supposed to put a person's name in there and then set it out at their seat. I just hung them on my tree. There's a candy cane. Here's a sequin star, a friend made that for me. So that's what these uh, little Santa ornaments look like, the place holders. More birds with fluffy feathers. <clears throat> I think it's really pretty. This, I like this kind of Scandinavian style a lot. Hiding kind of back here, I don't know why I put it so far back, is a little sweater. I got that at Target one year. And then we work our way down. It's just very similar. This doesn't take a lot of ornaments to fill the tree um, because it is a pretty, pretty small tree. There's another sweater that a friend made me. Cats leave it alone. Um, I think just maybe because they're a bit older. And then hiding over here, I have this little reindeer guy. And then this is just a <coughs> tree skirt. It's like a fuzzy tree skirt I got on Amazon. Oops, sorry about that. And that's my tree. Pretty simple. I love it. It makes me really happy. And yes, I do sleep with it with the lights, with the lights on at night. So as I was saying about Grove Collaborative, where I get the Caldrea Room Spray, they have a few other scents. I don't believe any of them are specifically winter or Christmas scented. Grove Collaborative is, I'll leave my link down below. I do get something in return. If you use my link, I'm not sure what I get though. Um, I think it's a few dollars or something, but uh, I've been really happy. I've been a member a little over a year now, maybe a year and a half. You pay $20 a year to be a member and it has environmentally friendly laundry cleaning supplies that are quite a bit discounted from what I find in the stores, at least the stores out here. So a lot of Mrs. Meyers brands, if you're familiar with that brand, they do have their own brand. They are starting to get into paper products as well. So things like toilet paper, paper towels, fe feminine hygiene products, uh, so they are expanding. They also sell soy-based candles. Again, their prices are really reasonable. And 
it's free shipping once you reach the minimum. And the minimum is really reasonable. I want to say it's around $17. I can't remember exactly, but it's definitely under $20 because I just got my latest order. And, you know, it will tell you, you know, you have X number of dollars until you reach the minimum to be shipped. And the minimum to be shipped, it's, it's very, so if you just need two or three items, you know, throw in a couple extras to stockpile and you're all set. I've been really happy with it. The customer service is amazing. There was one a couple months ago when I was placing an order, they got delayed, the shipment got delayed somehow by just a few days. It was no big deal. I wasn't even thinking about it. And as a, to make it up to me as an apology, they gave me six free paper towel rolls of their brand to try out. So that came in this order. So I was really happy with that. It is a, like I said, you pay $20 a year for VIP access, which I think is not bad considering it's free shipping for really heavy, you know, I buy my laundry detergent, my fabric softener, all that that's really heavy to ship. Uh, so I've been really happy with it. And their customer service, like I said, is wonderful. You get a lot of freebies, so if you reach, say, $50, there'll be a freebie that they'll give you, which I don't always worry about doing that. You don't, you certainly don't have to, but it's nice to try new products once in a while. And what else was I going to say about Grove Collaborative? Just that I really like them. That's where I get the Caldrea spray, and Caldrea also has, you know, a laundry detergent. I don't use it. Caldrea is, it's a bit more pricey. I like it for the room spray. The laundry, I'm sure it's great laundry detergent, but I buy, what do I use now? I can't remember what I use now for my laundry detergent. It's, I use a concentrate. So I bought a re reusable glass bottle, an auto dispensing glass bottle on Grove Collaborative. So let's go take a look. <clears throat> Cause I'm actually doing laundry right now. So I'm not gonna dip the camera down, but you might hear my washer going. So this is what the auto dispenser looks like. And all you do is you unscrew the top and it auto dispenses and you just pour until it stops dispensing and that's the amount you use. Uh, so I've been really happy with Grove, Grove Collaborative. I've talked way longer than I expected about it, but clearly I'm very happy with it. So I'll leave the link down below. You can check it out. And just do know if you use my link to sign up, I do get something back and I'm not even sure what it is honestly but I just want to be forthcoming with you that I do get something back there's my tree uh so the next clip will probably be me um showing you the downstairs tree I think I'll talk to you soon hi everyone it's me again today is what is it Friday December 20 20th yeah the 20th so it's been a little bit since I last vlogged uh, but I did want to make sure I showed you my main Christmas tree. It is also a pencil tree. I bought it new this year. I had a larger tree, but um, it's a little too big for the space. So I got this pencil tree and I really do love it. Um, I do miss the bigger one. And I put my tree in a different spot this year than I usually do. Let me flip you around and show you. So here's my tree. It is next to my couch and the bar eating area. Usually it is over in that corner. Excuse the stuff on the couch. I'm in the middle of cleaning up around here, but I just got lazy this year. And if I put it in that corner, I have to find a place for that vase with the fake flowers and that table. So I just didn't feel like dealing with it this year, especially because Thanksgiving was so much later than normal. Again, I don't have a tree topper on this one. I don't know what happened to this tree topper. I think it must have broke or something. Uh, but I will show you some of the ornaments on this tree. Those are little ice skates. I got them on a package one year and I can't remember who from, but I think they're adorable. I have a bunch of these. Sorry, that was the alarm being set. I have a bunch of these uh, glittery pine cones. I think I just got them at Target or Pier 1. Look at this little owl. I love him. He's so cute. And then I did go a little bit in the back. Um, I have this here, but not too much in the back. We have this glittery Christmas tree. And I don't know where most of these are from, you guys. Um, 
This is probably another like Pier 1, Target, something like that. This one I love. I think this is from Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel has pretty great ornaments. And then we have this one, which of course I don't remember where it's from. It's got a little owl and some twigs on it. Glittery blue here. This is uh, my pineapple that I got when I went to Maui last summer for the first time. And uh, I love having that, but it was very expensive, I think just because it was Hawaii and it was probably in a tour spot. Uh, so I paid way more for that ornament than I wanted to. This is the uh, white ball. There's a cute little thing back here I wanna show you. A little, little owl. I have three of these. I think they're all on this tree. All right, we'll go back around. Here's the uh, ornament from Linda, the fabric folded stitched ornament. So that is right there. I wanted it kind of in the middle of the tree so I could see it. These, I have three or four similar of these. Uh, they're just, they're kind of like a white wood ornament. Very cute. These are the penguins. I got these in Estes Park, Colorado. There is a very cute Christmas shop. So I bought a bunch of those there. These, I think I got at the Scandinavian Festival. Portland has a big, huge, they call it Scan Fest. Every year, I went last year. I wasn't able to go this year. I really wanted to. But my mother had these kind of straw ornaments on our tree growing up. So I wanted to get some for my tree. Here's another snowflake. I don't know the story behind that. Look at this. This is supposed to be, I bought this thinking it would be a good replacement for mistletoe. Um, mistletoe can be really toxic to pets. And I do have mistletoe, but I always hesitate to hang it up because, you know, it does drop some leaves and I just get really nervous about my cats ingesting them. There's another snowflake. So I bought that, um, here's a bell and here's another big, which almost looks like a pineapple. Um, but this I bought and then I realized it's really, really heavy. And so I don't want to hang it as a mistletoe because it's so heavy. So I put it on my tree and now I'm without mistletoe this year, which is probably fine. <laughs> Isn't this pretty sparkly ornament? This is another one I got, I think at Cracker Barrel. I just love these so much. They're just so simple and classic. Here's the straw one I got the scan fest. Here's a little sweater. Pretty sure this is from Target um, several years ago. Look at this. This is a big sparkly one. Here's another white wood one from Colorado. This I think was my grandmother's. Because I don't think um I think that's hers and I got it which is very special to me and look at this little house and look at this I love this one so much wouldn't that make a cute cross stitch maybe a lot of white but it would be pretty and let's see what's what else am I missing here I, I didn't do a whole lot on the tree. Here's another mini ornament. Back here in the back, there's this pretty sleigh. And another ball. I have several of, of these balls. So I didn't really put them all out this year. Um, I'm not sure why. I always do the Christmas tree last and I get kind of tired. I should have done it a different day. I had a friend with me though, helping me. And I think we were just really tired and wanted to be done, to be honest. So this is another straw, it's a straw angel. I think that's about it for the tree. Did I show you this polar bear one? Sorry about the, um, did you see this one? The other white one there with the deer. Then there's another one down here in the back. The bears. 
Oh, and down here is another um, L. And then here is the state of Oregon. Oops, there. There. State of Oregon with a heart in it. My aunt gave me that. And I think that's it. Um, I'm going to show you some of my other decorations now. So this is my buffet. It sits in this alcove. Again, ignore that. That's stuff I have to take to Colorado uh, when I go visit my folks. Uh, but this is uh, my buffet. It sits kind of between the kitchen and the living room. So I will show you. So these can these are candles, little angel caroler candles. My mother had these growing up. I saw them um, in a catalog called the Vermont Country Store. I'll link it below. Um, and I wanted them because they remind me of my mother. The Vermont Country Store has a lot of nostalgic type Christmas and holiday items. So if you are looking for something, they do a lot of reproductions of nostalgia, um, which I think is a great business model, honestly. This runner, my friend picked up for me at Home Depot, or not Home Depot, um, Home Goods. This tree I got last year at a local kitchen shop. I think it's local. I don't think they're everywhere. It's called Kitchen Caboodle. So you'll see a few of these that I got. Can't remember where I got this brush tree. Maybe at Kitchen Caboodle also. I have this little guy from Target. He is so cute. And there's another of those trees. Have a couple of candles here. Santa. This Santa is very special to me. Um, I got him um, on the coast. There's a town called Cannon Beach, Oregon, and they have a Christmas shop, and I bought this Santa in that Christmas shop. And Cannon Beach is one of my favorite places in the world. So he's very special to me. I thought about putting him on the stairs. I actually like him on the stairs, but my cats will chew these ribbons in two seconds, and they will no longer be. So I put him up here where he's safe. And then Santa's reindeer is here. I think this is just from Target a couple years ago. This is just a sign and it says Merry Christmas. I don't know where it's from. It doesn't say, this is what the back looks like. I'm not sure where I got it, to be honest. Um, this, it's called a Mercury tree. I got this at Pottery Barn several years ago, close to Christmas, and it was on sale because they were trying to get rid of their Christmas stuff. Here's another one of these trees and another brush tree. And then this, th this thing <laughs> is very, very special. You can see it is broken a little bit up there. This is a little candle holder. I got this from uh, when I was in college I studied in Salzburg, Austria for a term, and my host family gave me this as a gift, and I just absolutely, I cherish this. I absolutely cherish this. Um, it has been with me since 1997. It has made several long-distance moves, and it's held up pretty well, except for that one spot, but that's okay. That just adds character. So that's my buffet. Oh, and then I have... Uh, these stockings that I'll show you. This one was my grandmother's. Uh, it was in her items, the grandmother who passed away earlier this year. So that's really special to have. I picked this up for my kitties. My mom made this for me. Um, this was, I think I was a teenager when she made it for me. Um, my one that I had when I was born just started falling apart. Um, Falling apart, falling apart. And so she made me this when I was a teenager. So I have that. And then move this box out of the way. And then this is just one I picked up because I liked it and it makes pretty jingling sound. So that's that display. So I hope you enjoyed this little look at how I celebrate Christmas. I wasn't very good this year at um, remembering. <laughs> remembering to uh, to video. So I did miss quite a few, you know, shopping adventures and that type of thing, but I had a lot of fun doing it. So I think I will actually try to do it next year, um, maybe a little bit every day and upload once a week, just so you can see what I get up to. 
you know, the weekdays are pretty boring for the most part. I mostly just work. <laughs> um, and that's about it. But um, yeah, it was really fun. And I really enjoyed sharing it with you. So I think I'll plan ahead next year and plan to just do a little bit each day. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday, whatever you celebrate. Uh, we have a lot of holidays coming up uh, that start in mid-November and go through early part of January. So whatever it is you celebrate, I hope you have a wonderful one. I hope 2020 is kind to all of us. Take care.